Welcome to Creature Fridays, where I give you a quick introduction to one of the animal species found in the UK. Subscribe to Ferroforest to keep learning about UK nature. For the third video, we're going to take a look at Platrophinax nivalis, or the snow bunting. The snow bunting is one of many species that exhibits seasonal polyphenism, meaning that they have a different appearance at different times of the year. This species is also sexually dimorphic, which means that the males and females have different physical appearances. In the winter, an adult male has white undersides and wings, a sandy brown back, reddish brown smudges on its chest, a yellow beak, and short black legs. Meanwhile, the female looks similar to the male, but her back is darker brown and has more black markings. Her wings are less white than the male's, and her cap has more brown in it. In the summer, the male turns fully black and white, including his beak turning black. Meanwhile, in the summer, the female has a grey head, white undersides, and a dark, streaky marked back. Unlike most songbirds, song buntings have feathered tarsi, which is a part of their leg and is a sign that they are adapted for harsh environments. Snow buntings primarily live high up in the Arctic tundra, and time their breeding with the Arctic thaw in the summer. In the UK, there are only 60 breeding pairs located in the Scottish Highlands where there are snowy mountain tops. This scarcity has earned them a spot on the amber list, which although not being quite as bad a sign as red-listed bird species, does show that the species is at risk here. Local fluctuations in weather and temperature is known to change breeding timing and put them out of sync with insect prey abundance, which reduces fledgling mortality. Due to this, snow buntings are expected to be driven out of the UK by climate change. As temperatures here increase, they're expected to have reduced breeding success. The temperature increases are also expected to reduce their summer range, with not enough snow cover being left behind to sustain a healthy breeding population. This would be extremely disappointing to many bird fans, and a loss of native British biodiversity, given how long this species has been resident here. Fossil bones have been found on the border of Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire from the most recent glaciation of the UK, which took place up to 120,000 years ago. Snow buntings build their nests in rocky crevices on bare mountain slopes or on rocky coastal shores. Their nests could also be built up to a metre underground. The base will be made up of lichen, moss and grass, and lots of feathers will be added around the outside of it. Females will lay between four and six eggs in June, which can be identified by their blue shells covered in brown and black blotches. She then sits on the eggs for just under two weeks, and once the eggs hatch, the resulting chicks will fledge in another two weeks. The birds may disperse singly, but as they're a fairly social species, they often disperse in flocks. Young adult birds typically start breeding at around a year old and live for an average of three years. In the winter, the resident population in the UK is bolstered by migrant individuals from Iceland and Scandinavia. The population extends further south, primarily being found on our northern and eastern coasts, and can number up to 15,000 individuals. They arrive in late September and leave by March. During winter, these individuals tend to flock together in groups of 25, but a few rare recordings have noted flocks in the thousands. If you enjoyed learning about this animal, check out some of my other videos.